Love is chaos, math is order. And in an excellent TED Talk, mathematician and author Hannah Fry says you can make sense of love using math. Love, as with most of life, is full of patterns. And mathematics is ultimately all about the study of patterns. Here are Hannah's top three mathematical insights into love. First up, embrace your flaws. Having people think that you're ugly can work to your advantage. A statistical analysis of the dating site OkCupid found that the more men disagree about a woman's looks, the more messages she actually got. So the lesson of math is don't post that doctored picture that minimizes your flaws. You should really instead play up to whatever it is that makes you different, even if you think that some people will find it unattractive. Next, math has a formula to pick your perfect partner. There's no no other possible strategy that can do any better. Now the formula makes the assumption that you start dating at age 15 and want to be married by 35. The math say that no matter what, throw out the first 37% of people you date. It's not you, it's math. Then marry the next person who is better than anyone you dated to that point. So Miss Wright is actually Miss better than the first 37%. Don't include that in the vows. Finally, use math to avoid divorce. Plug measured attributes of husbands and wives into this formula and you can mathematically predict divorce with 90% accuracy. The key part of the equation measures a couple's negativity threshold. The most successful couples are the ones with a really low negativity threshold. Now this is unintuitive, but it means successful couples express annoyance with one another more frequently. These are the couples that are continually trying to repair their own relationship. So fire up the calculator to heat up that romance. The mathematics of love is what's the deal.